How's it going, okay? Yeah, yeah. yeah not bad. All this is yours, mate. Huh? All of it? No, I've got all that. <laughs> this is not how to pick things up. Looking for a complete demonstration of how to not pick something up. There she goes, look, bending from the knees. You're getting nice and low. Do not do it that way. I'll see you, baby. Shake it out. Oh my God. I've got a forehead like Anton Deck. When has that appeared? As you can see, uh, what we're doing, we're taking all this wood that was here, put it along the side of the house because obviously this is where we're going to deck. We've got some more under sheeting because someone in the comments says we did the same thing and we put uh, one layer of underlay under decking material down, whatever it is, felt, or the weeds came through. So we've got another one to put on top just to make sure no weeds come through at all. You're doing a good job there, babe. <laughs> Remember, use your knees, bend from the knees, not the back. <laughs> bend. <sighs> so now, all we've got to do is wait for Chris and we're going to start. That was the drive, mate, all right? All right, mate, yeah. Yeah? Wow. Got all the wood. Nice hoodie you got on there, mate. You're right there. Yeah. You okay? Yeah? <laughs> Yeah, I just can't get the staff nowadays. I've helped. So now we've got the underlay down. What we're going to do, we're going to do the frame. Now what I'm thinking about doing, boards that run over, they're going to run away from the house. But then, down here, they're going to run parallel with the house. The boards are going to come over this way, running away from the house and get to about here maybe, or here. And then them boards are going to run this way. I'm not too sure. So what do you think? I genuinely think you should have it all running that way. Do you reckon? I think it'll look much better if it all runs the same and it'll match up on it, otherwise you'll just have bits going off here, bits going down. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure it out, yeah. It'd be a lot easier with the framework, wouldn't it? Yeah. Um, instead of, because obviously, so the way it works, you you do the framework opposite to the way the boards run. Now, if we was going to do the idea which I just said, it's going to be an absolute nightmare because obviously the framework's going to run away from, uh, horizontal with the house, and then at some point we're going to have to turn it so it runs vertical. Is that right? Vertical, horizontal? Parallel. Parallel, well, that's the one. Uh, and that'd just be a nightmare trying to do the frame. So I think what we're going to do is do it all the same way. So it's all going to run literally flat coming away from the house. We can do that off, but it's the top of the So we're going to do this part first. If yes, mate. Let's get all this decked. Get yep. it all done. And then we'll figure out what we're going to do with it. I've never seen them before. Yeah, they to sit your framework on them. So I've not used, well, I've never done it before anyway. <laughs> but I was going to say I've never seen these before. What a surprise, because I've never done decking before. But anyway, uh, we've got these. Thanks for Rob at Silver. I said to the guy, I says, mate, I've never done decking before. This is the plans I've got. Can you help me out? He's ordered everything that I needed. And we've got these. What they do, they're sort of like for the leg, but we're still going to put a leg on. But they can be moved microly, very small, 
to get the exact level so that it gives the exact sort of slope running away from the house. After all this time, the first screw is in. What do I do now, mate? So we're gonna screw this one in. Yep. Then we're gonna measure from this joist to that joist. Yep. And then that'll give us a gap between each. Yep. Divide that by six inners. That way we've got a spacing for that side. That way it can't not be square when we put that inboard on. Okay. Makes sense. Exactly what he said. spacing up top here we're going to cut those noggings now and we'll run them all the way along that way no matter how bored the wood is whenever we're pulling them into 20 inch it can't not be square and true all the way across we're going to put noggings in between and we're going to do it in a type of a v so it's going to come down to this point here and the noggings are going to come up to this point here then that will be completely square and flush and as you can see the gap there from underneath the plastic sill there's just enough room for the decking so it's the decking is going to fit flush underneath there and it's going to run away from the house so this decking will be the same level as the floor inside, so it should look really good as it flows away from the house. So in order for us to make sure we don't have any standing water on this deck, obviously we need it to run that way only slightly though. So what we're going to do is we're going to, instead of getting our bubble to the middle here so it's completely level, we're going to run to this left outer ring here. It's got a tiny little fold going that way. That way you won't get any standing water. So what I've got to do now is put the noggins that's going to separate the distance at that end. We've already done this way. All these are already done. So obviously this first fixing is going to be to this post here. So then we're going to need a noggin running from here to here. We're going to fix into this post as well. And then we're going to run those noggins all the way along. The same space as what we've got up there so that it's all nice and square. So we're going to use these, it's the first time we've used these, well I've never used them before ever because I'm not a decker, it's the first time Chris has used them. So what you do, you put them under and they rise up somehow and you slide them underneath. I don't know. <laughs> So if I lift it, we need to get it to the right level, so then you twist it now rather. Hopefully that'll be alright. We've never used them before, but you twist them and then you raise them up and down. So hopefully, we do a wonky camera angle. It's not.
Come on then. So guys, as you can see, uh, we ran out of daylight, we ran out of um, hours. This was filmed on the Sunday and obviously we both work. And so, <laughs> it's still not completed, but we started. The wood's gonna be put on this weekend. So I just wanna thank Chris massively, mate. I really, really appreciate all the knowledge and help you've given doing this. I couldn't have done it without you. But this weekend, this weekend we're gonna smash it. The weather's gonna be beautiful and we're gonna crack on with this. So the next vlog, which I'm really looking forward to, this was a bit of a struggle to do because this weekend just gone, um, I had the big giveaway on my Twitch channel. I just have no time at all with working. I'm working on 14 hour shifts. But anyway, that's by the by. This garden, this part here anyway, is gonna be started this weekend. And honestly, I can't wait to get it. Actually, some wood on it so it looks not like a building site. But anyway, guys, um, I hope you enjoyed the vlog. Thank you for watching. And it's starting to take, it's starting to come together. So I'm really looking forward to it. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the vlog and I shall see you soon. Take care, bye-bye.